This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. If you've ever done any programming previously, you will have come across arrays. If not, then we'll be looking at them now anyway. Now, array is a variable, but it's more really is a set of related variables. When you declare a variable, you declare a single item, as we did here, my name as string, and then my name equals Guy Vaccaro. You might have a set of related data that you want to keep related. So within your program, you could place those inside what effectively is called an array, which is a variable with the same name, but a number of different boxes within it. So if we were wanting to store a set of names that were belonging to a particular class, for example, and we could declare an array by saying dim, so that's the same dimension, the name of your array, I'm going to call it my class names. Then we need to open round brackets. Within the brackets, define how many boxes, how many items we would like within that array. So let's assume we have five friends and we still need to define the data type. So that's our string. Now that string data type refers to all five values within my class names. So at the end of return, and we get our color coding in place. To then assign values to each of those five boxes, we can simply go copy and paste here. My class names one, two, three, four. So by a neat use of copy and paste, I've created my five boxes. They're the five elements of this array, and I can assign values to each of them. Notice how the VB editor is doing the tidying up for me and the spacing. So this is a variable name, but it's an array because it can hold more than one value in five separate elements. Each of those elements must be a string. I can then assign values to each of those five elements by choosing the name of the array, the box number I would like to place the value in, and then equals whatever the value might be. And the value here must follow the correct convention. So no speech marks for a numeric value, for an integer, for a double, etc. Speech marks for a date or text. Now this kind of array is actually a one-dimensional array. You can create a two-dimensional array in your VBA. Pretty much the same way, really. Dim my table three by two as double. Return the color code and the spacing gets sorted out. What we've now got, instead of a variable with five boxes behind, we have a variable which I've called my table with three boxes behind deep, but then two wide. So that's actually six boxes. And I can define the contents of any one of those boxes by simply calling the array and the location within that mini table that I want to place it in. Notice here that the VBA editor is actually helping me out. I've done my table open brackets. And it's actually telling me, well, which two parts of the element are you after? So I need to go down the table to the third row and then into the first column, close brackets, that's going to equal six. And then I can reference a different part of the array. Let's go down to first column and second row and put 7.8 in there, etc. So at the moment, you're probably thinking what use are arrays, but as we get into building our routines and procedures, you'll see that arrays are actually very useful little variables. Instead of creating five variables in this case here to hold my five values, I only have to declare one variable that has five elements, and then I can access each of those five elements. In this case here, there are six elements in total. If you imagine this is a little mini table in a three by two layout, and the layout could be much bigger than that, 300 by 200, in which case one declaration statement covers 60,000 possible values. So the arrays really are quite useful programming tools. We tend to keep arrays for related values though, rather than just creating an array to store everything in and then picking out. The values would need to be related in some way for the array to have any sense. So my class names, they're all names of people in the class. Dim my table as double. These are all numeric values that have a related reason for being in the same array. Having said that, the flexibility here really makes arrays quite a useful tool.